Today I'm going to read The Enormous Turnip. There's something special about this book, uh, for parents especially. If you look, in the beginning of this book, it tells you all of the things that you can do with your child. So before reading, it says, bring in a turnip to show children or display a photograph. Explain that a turnip is a root vegetable that grows in the ground like a carrot or a potato. Since we're in the plant unit, you could say it's a plant. Then use the prompt and picture on page two to three to introduce the new reading skill, asking questions. Then it gives you some more ideas of what you could do with your child during this book. And then at the end, there are pictures so your child can retell the story from the pictures. So let's start reading. The Enormous Turnip, retold by Linda B. Ross, illustrated by Jacqueline Rogers. Author, author, what do you do? I write the words in the book for you. Illustrator, illustrator, what do you do? I draw the pictures in the book for you. So Linda B. Ross wrote the words and Jacqueline Rogers drew the pictures. The enormous turnip. What questions do you have about this picture? Once upon a time, a farmer planted some turnip seeds. Soon the turnips sprouted and the farmer was pleased. Before long, he noticed that one turnip was larger than the others. In fact, it was the largest turnip he had ever laid eyes on. The farmer saw that the huge turnip was ripe and wanted to pull it up. So he grasped his sleeves and tugged, but the turnip did not budge. The farmer kept tugging and yanking and yanking and tugging, but he could not pull up the enormous turnip. The farmer's wife was nearby, and he called her. My dear wife, please help me pull up this turnip, he cried. I have never seen such a stubborn vegetable. So the farmer and his wife grasped the turnip leaves and tugged, but the turnip did not budge. The two kept tugging and yanking and yanking and tugging, but they could not pull up the enormous turnip. The cow was nearby, so the farmer's wife called her. Dear cow, we need your assistance to pull up this giant turnip, she cried. So the farmer and his wife and the cow grasped the turnip leaves and tugged, but the turnip didn't budge. The three kept tugging and yanking and yanking and tugging but they could not pull up the enormous turnip. The pig was nearby, so the cow called him. Dear pig, we need your strength to help us pull up this humongous turnip, she cried. So the farmer and his wife and the cow and the pig tugged, but the turnip did not budge. The four kept tugging and yanking and yanking and tugging, but they could not pull up the enormous turnip. The horse was nearby, so the pig called her. Dear horse, we need your power to help us pull up this gigantic turnip, he cried. So the farmer and his wife and the cow and the pig and the horse tugged, but the turnip didn't budge. The five kept 
tugging and yanking and yanking and tugging, but they could not pull up the enormous turnip. The goat was nearby, so the horse called him. Dear goat, we need your energy to help us pull up this turnip that's solid as a rock, he cried. So, the farmer and his wife and the cow and the pig and the horse and the goat tugged and pulled. The six kept tugging and yanking and yanking and tugging and then finally... Out. That evening, the farmer and his wife made a huge pot of delicious turnip soup, which they happily shared with the cow and the pig and the horse and the goat. The end. So now, you can ask your child, what happened in this story? And show them each of the pictures. So first, the farmer tried to pull up the turnip all by himself. Then they needed help from the cow. Then the cow needed help from the pig. Then all of the animals on the farm helped and they finally picked up the enormous turnip. The end.